Hello, uh, right, so what you see here is my latest project that I've been working on for a couple of days. I'm a bit on and off. Um, and this is a ATX, well, full size ATX modded uh, Power Mac G5 case. Um, so, around the back, and let's see if we can show you this. This wouldn't be great, but yeah, you know. Do you see that? Yep, there is a uh, ATX well, back panel, or what the hell you want to call it, um, that I just, well, mounted in the case, and uh, put a motherboard plate in, and I did some work inside. So it's not a race machine, it's a uh, dual-core AMD Athlon, I think it's... 3.2 gigahertz. It's a 65 nanometer CPU, so it's quite nice, anyways. I'm get an old GTX 260 graphics card. Get a my old uh, Corsair. Wow, what the hell is a GS 600, I think, <laughs> and a little 64 gig SSD there that I had laying around, basically. And I did use the original, well, the stock Mac uh, drive cage just mounted on the floor here. It's a elevated floor uh, made out of aluminum, and that hides the cables in the bottom and things. And just is handy and looks nice, and just bent up here, mounted to the power supply. And on the other side, we got a similar plate that is to cover up the mains wiring and also uh, direct the exhaust air from the power supply so it goes straight out the back and a serial ADA optics, optical drive uh, nothing fancy and got a pair of uh, server fans in the front actually but they are running at 3.3 volts which make them very quiet um, and there is a little special thing with this case <coughs> Um, basically, I got a Adafruit trinket, which is essentially a really small Arduino um, that's managing the power button, the uh, front case LED, and uh, the uh, uh, front fan control. So, uh, when I push the button, well, it triggers a relay that starts the computer, um, the uh, trinket, and uh, turns the fans in the front to uh, 12 volts for two seconds to get them spinning really good and then they uh, slow down to 3.3 volts and um, then uh, it starts to PWM the front LED with about half brightness and uh, <clears throat> then I got an optocoupler that's uh, being controlled by the hard drive activity LED um, so when that's going high, it increases the PWM to uh, full brightness, so um, the uh, power LED increases in brightness when the, there is hard drive activity, so that's quite neat. So let's turn it on, I'm gonna start it without the front, or the front, <laughs> the side panel, so yeah. And there you go. And it's all gonna start up, and it's all hunky dory. Put the side panel on. That chunking noise you hear, it's the uh, optical drive. It does that. It's really annoying, but that's how it is. <coughs> and we got it on screen here. Should boot in a second. It's just Windows 7 64 bit Ultimate. It's nothing special, really. I am thinking about putting a second hard drive in. Uh, and you will boot uh, Linux on it because Mac case, PC hardware, Linux, yeah, pissing off people, you know, it's just fun that way. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's my secondary workstation computer, and we're running Synergy to it, so I can use the same mouse and keyboard, which is nice. And yeah, uh, that's it, basically. Um, I can include a link down in the description box uh, for a photo album and some pictures of this build uh, because this video doesn't really give that much of a good look at this but just a little brief overview 
Um, so yeah, that is it actually. Uh, thank you for watching and <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.